Okay, so the goal of this video is to give people that are experiencing low back pain some exercises that they can try at home. The first one we're going to begin with is for mobility of the spine. So it is a cat-cow movement. So what you're going to do is have the knees aligned underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, and what you're going to want to do is with your big inhale, round the back, and then with an exhale, extend the back and the neck. So you'll do a few of those in rhythm with your breath. Just like that. So that's to begin with mobility. Uh, it's really important to keep and maintain mobility in the low spine. As you can see, I am very restricted in my lumbar spine, so I'll be doing more of these. Uh, the next are the strengthening exercises. We're going to go off the McGill's uh, big three stabilization exercises for the low back. So what we're going to do is first start off on your back. And if you have sciatic pain, I recommend that you keep this leg, that leg straight and the other one bent. Otherwise, uh, it's up to you whether you straighten one leg from the other. So you're going to have one leg straight, your arms underneath the low back, like curved. Okay, you want to kind of flatten your back into that curve a bit. And you're just going to bring your head off the ground. You're going to hold for 10 seconds or what you're able to tolerate. If it's too much, make sure that you take a break and then work up to that 10 seconds. So you're just going to go up and down. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Okay, and then what we're going to do next, and you can do three to five repetitions of that. Again, it's what you can tolerate and building up that endurance. The next one is a personal favorite. You're going to do a cat cow or a, um, I'm sorry, a bird dog. So with the opposite arm, opposite leg, you're going to extend out. You want to make sure that you're not arching the lower back. That you're keeping a nice firm back and you're keeping the pelvis parallel to the floor. So you're not tilting one way or the next and you're holding that, and you should feel your low back muscles working, and then you come to a neutral position and switch sides, okay? It can be helpful to keep that back foot flexed, and then you're just gonna switch. Now when you switch, you wanna keep the core nice and tight so that it's a stable switch, so you don't rock back and forth, okay? So that is your bird dog. And then the next one is, a side plank. And the side plank can be done one of two ways. So, well, there's many ways, but I recommend if you're getting new into side plank that you do it from your knees. It's a modified side plank. And you're just going to arch up, keeping that hip off the ground. And if you want to make it a little harder, you could bring that top leg out. Okay. Then the next way is a full side plank. You can do feet stacked on one another or one foot in front of the other and you're just going to bring your hip off the ground and you're just going to hold that and then you're going to try to hold this for about 30 seconds work your way up to a minute each side uh, you can do a high plank if that position aggravates you uh, this is a little bit more shoulder stability and you hold that okay those are the three exercises uh, that I recommend for back strengthening or for low back pain uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us.